is Priyanka from EQ Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today here we have Mr. Anurag with us. Hello, Mr. Anurag. Welcome to EQ. Hello. Okay, sir. Can you tell us in brief about your company, how it came into solar industry? See, we ventured into the solar uh, industry last three years back. And uh, the primary motive was to work around, around cable uh, solar ecosystem. We are a cable manufacturing company and so cables has been a primary motive for us. So all and around so, uh, cable we, we want to venture into. So we, we thought that uh, inverters uh, and uh, the other modules and all, all those products make a perfect fit for us. Being a brand uh, already in India, it was easier for us to capitalize on uh, getting into the new products like these. Okay, sir, like today, what, like, what are the project, like product, new services are you launching, like exhibiting in your booth? See the new products that we have come up with, with the, the new generation inverters like 125 kilowatt is the latest one that we have come up with. So this will uh, fill in the vacuum for uh, the ground mounted uh, uh, solar industry. We have been largely catering to the rooftop modules, rooftop work. Now this with this uh, coming up with this 125 kilowatt we will be able to serve the ground mounted industry. Okay sir can you please highlight the achievement innovation of your project? See, last three years uh, since we have ventured into, we have become the number one brand in the uh, solar uh, inverter industry in India. Uh, in terms of volumes, we have done more than 200 megawatt of inverters uh, installed already across India. And uh, the positioning wise, uh, in terms of volumes, I believe uh, we are fourth uh, in India as of now. Okay, sir, can you say like what's your view regarding on government policies like rules and regulation on the solar sector in reality? See, the very important for the government is now to make indigenization compulsory because uh, majority of the products still are coming from China and China has been major beneficiary for Indian solar uh, policy that uh, the solar uh, game that is happening in India this uh, up to 2022 whatever is planned. So unless and until if you want to benefit our industries things will not not move uh, further for us for our industries for the jobs for creation of jobs for creation of business it is it is it is the best for the government to come up with the indigenization policy sir have a great evening thank you so much